Hello all. So we'll continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. As you can see, we have modeled this bike over here. So we are going to continue with the another part of it. So let's start up. So as you can see, we require a kind of a chassis part over here. So we are going to create it. First of all, you are you, we are going to use a line tool for that. So let's take a line tool over here and let's connect it over here. So I think so we require one more part. So rendering, we require one more image, sorry. So we can take one more image. So we are going to take this as a reference over here and this is going to uh, start right from here and we are going to finish this part over here so we are going to take this line part right over here so now just select this and let's go into rendering, enable in viewport and let's increase its thickness over here a bit okay I think so we have already uh, placed this part over here so this is going to get in over here so we can take some other references over here so we can exactly work it out So we need some more references. Just check out this stuff. So from where exactly it is going, this part. Okay. So as you can see, it is your shock absorbers are right away starting from here. So this is, we are going to undo this part over here and we are going to place this over here like this, we are going to push this element up over here, that's it, select this and you can just keep this over here and just rotate it. Still you can reduce the thickness and convert to <coughs> editable poly. So after you are done with it, you can use a swift loop over here. You can just change this part to local normal or world or parent, you can just change that accordingly. So we can just shift it like this, and push it out. So select this, and you have a extrude option. You can use a local normal if you need it. Local normal, you can just need a local normal option over here for that particular part and right on the top if you need something like which needs to get connected over here so let's move over here let's click over here so let's extrude this part in front and you can just resize it And you can just push it. Yeah, perfect. So you can just, uh, you know, can just set it accordingly. 
so it can be you know managed well in a much much better way so fine next step is like uh, we can just push this stuff up over here and we have this helix option so we can utilize this helix option we can push this up like this So you can just go into it and reduce the thickness of the helix and increase the turns you require and you can just reduce the radial thickness and you can increase the height of it, that's it. So once you are done with it, you can just increase more turns. You can just increase the, the radius of it and reduce the height. Again, increase the radius. Push this over here and keep this like this. That's it. Increase the radius again. So as you can see, we have uh, done this part over here now. So now the next part over here is like uh, we are going to get this connected. Let's save this first. So we need to get it connected over here. You can just push this a bit back if you want it. You can push this in front. So you can just select this. You can, if you want, you can, you know, you can directly convert it into editable poly, or you can make this individually. So it's your choice how you can, you know, work it out. So if you're going to make this in a individual part, you can take this as an individual part also. For creation of this, you can just take a rectangle. You can just take a rectangle, convert to editable spline. You can just push this down. So now, what you can do is go over here, take a extrude modifier. Sorry, you can take this extrude modifier. After taking this extrude modifier, you can just push this over here for this part like this. Better go to the vertices, just push this up a bit, and you can just convert to poly. So now what you can do is, you can just uh, select this, isolate it, press shift and drag it over here, that's it. Now just select this object and you can just attach this elements accordingly. And now if you are done with it, you can easily, you know, you can just bridge this parts and if you don't need to bridge it, you can just, you can, you know, you can keep a passing rod 
which is passing through this both the elements like this over here so let's go on to the top view and we can shift this we can shift this a bit in so like this so like this and make it enable in viewport that's it so once you're done with this enable in viewport you can push this back if you and we are done with this part enable in viewport Just push this out. Convert to editable poly, and you can use a swift loop and push this out, and you can just insert it. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. So same thing will happen on the other side also you can use the bevel and then you can use the sorry insert and the bevel option so you get the some basic stuff which we have you know done with it <coughs> so you can just end isolate uh, this part so as you can see we have uh, just connected this part over here like this And the next is like you need to connect this over here also. So if you want to connect it, you can easily connect it. So you can just select it and you can use this poly option over here and here and you can use this bevel option and you can just connect it like this. So as you can see over here, we have uh, just connected this part over here like this. So you can make the changes in the future if you definitely require it. Okay. So you can make the side lights also. So can take those stuff can make it like this can just you know, push this stuff up a bit can just select all of this and just you can extrude a bit down if you require it you can do this thing so here you can just push it inside select this you can just push it inside that's it all right so for making this it's uh, very very simple so if you need some kind of a uh, cylinder stuff so let's go on to this view and let's take this from here enabling viewport you can take this much of the area so let's put it over here let's go over here so if you are going to make it right from one shape that can also be done you can just push this a bit down and keep it as it is take a box over here
just push this in front over here convert to a little bit poly so now what I can do is like I can just give some uh, basic loops over here to you know get it look into the round shape so this is some kind of a basic shape which we are you know going to give it to make it look much more you know in the form of your side lights So you can just use if you want to use a bit of a chamfer, you can use a chamfer. Okay, that's it. So now you have a FFD box, you can use some FFD box over here. You can just select this, you know, shapes and just push it in front. That's it. So just convert to readable poly and just keep this stuff over here so now as you can see over here uh, we have just assigned this you can duplicate this part so you can just you know you can mirror it and you can shift this part over here like this oh, push this out select it Change the color, save your file. Okay, so we'll continue the next part in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial.